Blessed day, blessed day, beloveds, and happy, happy Tuesday, wherever you are in the world. I'm so grateful to have a moment to spend some time with you. Hello there, Mr. Shea. Sending you so much love. And so I wanted to tune in and talk to you today about, you know, how if, you know, we have so much ability. Hey, Rocio, I see you. And yet we fail to use it. And so I'm talking about our superpower, our ancestral superpower of intuition. You know, I really have learned so much about intuition from our cats because cats are so instinctual and um, as well as territorial, right? But they're so instinctual. So I'm sorry, let me turn this around. I wanted to have that on. Hold on. So cats in their instinctiveness, hello beloveds, in their instinctiveness also show how strong intuition is. And so they teach me this all the time because they are, um, you know, they can hear something that I don't hear. And so they rely on their instincts a hundred percent. We as human beings have been shifted away from it and to the point now that our, you know, our, our ability to connect to our own intuition is one of the most difficult things that we experience. And so when we liberate our minds and start to trust our intuition, what we're doing and saying is, wait a minute, I can keep thinking this or I can tune in and feel this. Because a thinking and a feeling are two different things. Hey, Cathesia. And so when we allow ourselves to disconnect from thinking that we know something and allowing ourselves to have our intuitive selves come through, what we're doing is saying, okay, I don't know, but my spirit does. And so when we start to liberate our minds, what we're doing is saying, I'm calming the thoughts. This is why meditation and prayer and like yoga and breath work are so important. And these are some of the things that we'll be discussing and going deep into the intuitive incubator, my upcoming live three week masterclass series. This is going to be absolutely amazing. And I'm so excited about this because so many people come to me asking me about their intuition. You know, did you know that studies show that one in five women believe that they have some intuitive gifts yet don't know how to access them? So they lie dormant and only they can use it a little time or a little bit of time. It's the number one complaint that coaches and healers have that they have this sense of disconnect with their intuition but did you also know that it is one of the ancestral superpowers that we have so when i was talking about my cat and sharing how my cats how how instinctive they are they've never left that even though they've been domesticated they've never lost their sense of intuition however we have because our intuition comes through our senses and how many of us feel disconnected from our bodies yet and still we want these highly sensitive energy and this highly sensitive experience to come through our bodies and so the intuitive incubator is going to share with you ways of body movement including breathing um, and body movement we're going to actually do like some yoga movement to clear our energy up and out of our system Thank you, Mr. Gill. I see you. I appreciate you. And so, you know, we have to remember, too, how powerful our ancestors had their intuition. You know, we forget that our ancestors are the ones who've taught us that we have intuition. So let's think about it. For instance, Harriet Tubman, you know, her journey up north repeatedly. You know, they said she would have seizures, that she would go into these spells where she would see exactly where to go, the route to go. So those were like, you know, clairvoyant images that she was having. And she fell into kind of an experience that allowed her to see it, kind of like it was a seizure. And so it allowed her to see things, you know, and it guided her and all the slaves, you know, to the north. And let's think about, too, our beloved sister, 
um, Marie Laveau, one of the greatest, you know, voodoo, hoodoo queens of all time. Her intuition and her power were her gifts. They were also the things that terrified people the most because she just seemed to know things. And so when we really start to think about what our ancestors have left for us and how we can start to build that, that comes from, you know, spiritual growth as well as learning to harness our energy. So in the intuitive incubator, we're gonna really dive into energy, body, and intuition because when you have strong intuition, guess what, there's nothing that you can't do. So I wanna ask you, if you believe that you could develop stronger intuition, how would it serve you? How would it serve you in your life, maybe your business? How would it serve you in your finances? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm talking about Harriet Tubman. I talk about Marie Laveau, you know, even Miss Tatuba, you know, um, she was the first one who they said was how the witch, um, the, the um, Salem witch um, trial started, you know, um, it was her magic that two white women had come to and got the magic from her and then they were accused by some other white women of being witches and so they were burned at the stake but the thing is i see what you're saying better better decisions better relationships confidence that's it exactly and that's why i want to share with you how you can be more intuitive see most people think if they read books and take classes on how to be intuitive that it'll come However, intuition is a sensation. So I want to share with you some very specific energy techniques. I've been studying energy medicine and yoga and that for over 20 years now. And so what I'm bringing is all of that together with intuition. It was a divine download and I'll be sharing it with you in the intuitive incubator. And because this is a lab, experience i get to share with you these different techniques what works what doesn't work and you're going to be like my you know my my um subjects you know we're going to work together so your feedback is not only going to help you and me it's going to help you know create something amazing in the future for this intuitive incubator because i know it is my mission to you know really support women who are ready to not just you know talk about who they want to be but to truly be about it and, and and sometimes it can feel so difficult you know it could feel so hard but you know i'm here to empower women to embody their intuition as a superpower because guess what when you have your superpower available to you you know what energy feels right you know what energy doesn't feel right you know how to wake up and have a positive energy around you all day you know how to shake energy off you know how to tune in and listen with deep listening ears and close these eyes and listen to this eye you know how to sense when something is telling you something that's positive and negative as some people said here, it would help you with confidence, it would help you with better decisions. And so I'm here to support you in growing your super muscle of intuition. And so this is really important to me because now more than ever, we have to be able to trust ourselves. And the only way we can trust ourselves is by you know, um, trusting our intuition. And so as I said, as we start to liberate our minds, from thinking so much and we start to truly tune in and listen the universe always guides us exactly to where we next have to go or next have to do and so this is not just about spirituality this is about really learning to trust what is called what was as i was sharing about my cats who have it as a natural instinct this was a natural instinct we've been conditioned away from our natural instincts and our intuition which is why we don't trust it. And so I want to teach you how to trust it. I want to teach you how to do that. And if you're a brown girl who coaches, this is for you because I want to really share with you how to expand this out into your business and beyond. And so the Intuitive Incubator is a part of the brown girls who coach 
um, membership. And so this lab experience is really going to be special. So we've got some really great things. If you want to find out more details, the link is in bio. And take the intuitive quiz. Take the IQ test and see are you a seeker or a seer? And there is that link also in the bio. Take the quiz. And also stay tuned next week, kicking off on the 12th. We've got some amazing masterclass series happening. My first guest is Zakia Harris, shapeshifter. We're going to get down and have a great conversation, so please sign up for that free masterclass series. This is if you are multi-passionate and ready to make multiple income streams. So if this is you, sign up. And if you know you're ready to boost up and really dive into your intuition to be your all true intuitive self, I invite you on this sacred journey with me of the Intuitive Incubator. And so we kick off on the new moon on the 16th. That's our big launch day, our intention setting day. And then we start on the 20th, ready to be in this incubator. We're going to meet three times a week because I want you to be so intuitive and so tuned into what's around you and what's coming at you that you are just a, a divine channel. So I send you so much love and light. I can't wait to join with you again. We've got some, a lot of things to sign up for, so please check the links in bio. Also, the um, 20, 2021 tarot forecast is also available with the celestial bundle available, the predictions and prophecies and all kinds of good stuff. There's so much good stuff coming up. So I can't wait to share more with you, beloved. So happy Tuesday. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I send you love and light. And until next time, namaste.